On this episode of Exploring Northwest Ohio with Kathy, we visited the Rutherford B. Hayes Presidential Library and Museums. The 25 acres estate also known as Spiegel Grove, houses the Hayes Museum and Rutherford and First Lady Lucy Hayes' 31-room mansion. Sit back and enjoy as we take you on a behind-the-scenes tour of the latest exhibits and give you an inside glimpse into this historic site. Hi there, I'm Kathy Miller. I'm with Visit Northwest Ohio. Today we're going to take a tour of the Rutherford B. Hayes Presidential Library and Museums. I'm here with Christy Weininger, the Executive Director. Uh, the first thing that struck me, Christy, when I first visited was the incredible grounds outside. I was just wowed by it. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure, I would love to talk about the grounds. That is a very popular feature that we have here. Uh, Hayes Presidential is located within Spiegel Grove, mm -hmm. which is the 25-acre estate of Rutherford and Lucy Hayes. So we have six entrances to the, to the property that are um, uh, where there are some gates located. And uh, these gates were brought from the White House to Spiegel Grove um, by Rutherford and Lucy's son, who inherited the property after mm -hmm. they passed away. These gates were actually at the White House during the Hayes administration and for several presidents before Hayes. Um, and eventually uh, they were built in the horse and carriage era, but in the early 1900s, as more vehicles were coming and going mm -hmm. to the White House, they kind of clogged up traffic. So uh, the White House didn't want them anymore, uh, was just going to dispose of them in a dump. And Webb Hayes found out about it and said, gosh, it would be wonderful to have them at Spiegel Grove. So um, he, he brought them here in the 1920s. So in addition to the grounds, we have two buildings here on the property that are open to the public. Um, we have Rutherford and Lucy's home. It is a 31 room mansion. There is a guided tour of the house that lasts about 45 minutes to an hour. And then in the museum, which is where we're standing here, um, this uh, building was constructed in 1916 by Rutherford and Lucy's uh, family, their descendants. And you can see some of the things that they collected throughout their lives. And you learn about Rutherford's Civil War experience. So the life of a Civil War so soldier was, of course, not at all easy. And if we walk around the corner here, we talk a little bit and explain um, what it was like uh, for a, a day in the life of a soldier. Um, and we actually have a pack if you want to give this a try. Uh, we can see if you could carry the weight <laughs> that a typical Civil War soldier would have carried. We'll give it a shot. OK, <laughs> your game. <laughs> Can I do it? Yeah. There's no shoulder pads. No, it's not. It, it's, it hurts a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if I'm, is it stuck or is it no, just me? It be, you gotta really lift with your legs. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. Underneath you. I don't think I can do it. Seriously, <laughs> I cannot do it. <laughs> You can do it. I'm impressed. It's pretty heavy. If you had to march with that yet. <laughs> Try one more time. <laughs> oh, there you go. I did it. <laughs> rotating exhibits called Ohio Unnatural History and uh, this exhibit um, is open through October of 2021 um, and we actually came across a diary entry of Rutherford's where he talks about how legends of giants were when he was a kid something that he just enjoyed hearing those stories and, and was fascinated by that type of folklore. So in this exhibit what we do is we look at folklore stories that exist in Ohio about creature sightings here in Ohio. So mm -hmm. for example, um, the Dogman of Defiance, um, the, the Loveland Frog, um, you know, the Mothman. Um, and so we have captured all of them in this exhibit and we talk about where those legends come from, uh, when those first sightings occurred, um, and uh, kind of look at you know why why do we why do we get so enamored with these types of stories? And of course um, Different people uh, look look at different kinds of evidence uh, to, to argue whether these creatures actually exist or not. Uh, we take a look at all of that here in this rotating. So behind us, we have the Hayes home, uh, which was actually built for the president by his uncle. So would you like to see the inside Would of the love house? to. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Well, Kathy, welcome to Rutherford Lucy's home. Um, we 
I absolutely love welcoming people into the space, just as Rutherford and Lucy would have. Um, we have been able, uh, through photo evidence, through um, you know clues that the house itself has left behind, mm -hmm. we have been able to faithfully, completely restore this first floor of the home to the time period when Rutherford and Lucy lived here, including the light fixtures, which are electric now, but when Rutherford and Lucy lived here, they would have originally been gas. But the electric light bulbs that are in here are the exact same lumens as gas lighting. Mm -hmm. So not only are the artifacts of, uh, original, but, but the very ambiance of the house uh, is original as well, right. too. It was really fun taking you around Spiegel Grove today, Kathy, and, um, but we only saw a small portion of all there is to see. So for you, the viewer, uh, your tour can start here anytime. Our hours and our pricing information is on our website, rbhays.org. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.